Okay, everybody, we are back in the budget territory today, and the laptop we're going to show you is the HP 250G8. Of course, you should set your expectations accordingly, but that doesn't mean you have to ignore every issue the laptop could potentially have. Nevertheless, we expect decent results. Although the entire device is built out of plastic, the chassis feels sturdy and resistant to flex. In addition, this machine is pretty light and stops the scales at 1.74 kilos. Thankfully, its keyboard feels great with its long key travel and clicky feedback. On the other hand, it lacks a backlight and the touchpad could have been better, despite the addition of dedicated buttons. Here you get one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1 port, a couple of type of ports of the same speed, and a LAN port. Also, you get to use an HDMI 1.4B, an audio jack, as well as a full-size SD card reader. What is great about budget laptops is that they prioritize upgradability. This one offers two RAM SOTOM slots, and one M.2 slot, capable of holding either NVMe or SATA SSDs. In addition, you get a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay. If you want to see how to open the laptop, you can check out our teardown video. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The display situation is pretty straightforward. There are two panels with a 1080p resolution, one IPS and one TN. We cheaped out and got the TN display, and it naturally has narrow viewing angles and a mediocre contrast ratio of 415 to 1. Its color reproduction abilities are nothing to write home about, but to some consolation, you get fast pixel response times, as well as a lack of aggressive PWM for brightness adjustment. Of course, get the IPS variant, if you can afford it. In terms of battery, you get a 41 watt hours unit that can hold for around 7 hours of web browsing and just over 6 hours of video playback. HP offers the 250G8 with a ton of processor options, ranging from the Celerons and Pentiums to AMD Ryzen 3000S, and Intel Ice Lake and Tiger Lake CPUs. The top version here combines the Core i7-1165G7 with the GeForce MX350. Our unit was definitely amongst the fastest ones out there. However, the Core i5-1035G1 is a good middle ground for people that don't need a ton of processing and graphics power. Ultimately, the clock speeds were not very high, but the temperature was well in check. This also resulted in cool externals. If you choose the TN variant, be ready for narrow viewing angles and poor contrast ratio. However, our profiles can definitely make your life easier. On the other hand, the strong advocates for the HP 250G8 are its low price, relatively light construction, and good keyboard. Should you want to check all of the tests we did with this device, you can do so in our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.